We have been here before, folks, several times this week. Another freeze warning tonight. The main thing that's different tonight is the wind will go down nearly calm, and that means much better conditions for frost formation. So if your plants are apt are in danger of that. You might want to bring them inside or put them underneath the shed or something just to keep them covered up that way. Temperature wise, we're starting off much like we did yesterday. 49 at Coleman, 48 at Fort Payne, 57 degrees in Tuscaloosa, 56 in Clanton. Another fast drop this evening with clear skies in place down to 46 at 7, 43 at 9 and 41 by 11 o'clock. Crystal clear skies. The wind pretty much going to calm, so we won't have to worry about a wind chill factor as we get through later on this evening. Six days from now, the official beginning of springtime on March 20th. Our average daily high then is 68 degrees. The average low is 45. Now there's no saying that the weather will be average. Of course, looking ahead to next week, I think temperatures may run just a little bit shy of seasonal averages on the WVTM 13 live Doppler. Your most accurate look at current conditions. It is dry area wide. We expect it to stay that way tonight. Tomorrow, tomorrow night into Friday morning before things start to change for us. And it looks like this over the next several days. As we go through the next few days, tomorrow will be another sunshiny day. In fact, tomorrow is going to be a really nice day. Sunny the afternoon temperatures considerably higher than today. So enjoy tomorrow. After that, it gets unsettled. This is Friday morning at 9 a.m. As you can see, clouds increasing. And by 5 o'clock, rain could well begin in parts of the area, spreading across the area tomorrow night and continuing during the day on Saturday at times. Doesn't look like a washout this weekend, but it does look like We'll have some showers at times. So my seven day forecast looking like this for tomorrow. A beautiful day with sunshine, very pleasant afternoon uh, temperatures, really nice stuff. Friday, though, some showers move in and it looks like it continues Saturday too across the area and that will be a factor as well. Now, as we get into Sunday, I think temperatures still in the low 70s. Still the chance of a shower that day. Thunderstorms possible Monday, drier and cooler Tuesday and Wednesday. The two impact days, Friday and Saturday, because the weather may be a hassle those two days as you're out and about. Over